Good morning, happy Sunday. All right, friends, today I just wanted to do um, a brief little lesson. I wanted to talk about forgiveness. Um, so today, the Bible story that was on my mind was the story of Joseph. And so I want you to think to yourself, what do you remember? What do you remember about Joseph? Do you remember the story about how he had a coat of many colors that his father had given him and it made his brothers jealous because he was a favorite um, and Joseph didn't have all of the chores like the older brothers did and so there were lots of things about the relationship with Joseph and his father that made his brothers angry and so remember they sold him they sold him um, into slavery and they told his dad that he had been killed and so they took his coat of many colors and they tore it up and they covered it with some blood and then when Joseph was taken into slavery he was sold and um, one of the encounters that he had with Potiphar's wife um, she wanted to be with him and and he did not want to be with her and so um, she then lied about him so that he was put into prison and then um, he had some visitors come to prison. He had, was such a trustworthy prisoner that they wound up putting him in charge of other prisoners. And so some visitors came and he was able to interpret their dreams. And then once he had interpreted their dreams, he was like, hey, when you're in Pharaoh's house, don't forget about me. Um, tell him about me. And so... A time went by and he'd been forgotten about um, until the Pharaoh had some dreams and he needed his dreams interpreted. And that's when one of those men that um, had been with him in prison remembered about Joseph. And so he said, oh, I know somebody who could interpret your dreams. And Joseph came and interpreted his dreams and then he wound up being put in charge to help um, with the famine. Now, the part of the story that requires a lot of forgiveness is later on when the brothers come back to him, um, they come to Egypt and he has the power to deny them what they need. He has the power to not give them what they need. He could be very, very angry um, with his brothers after everything that has taken place, but instead through a series of events, he winds up forgiving his brothers and there winds up being um, a restoration of the relationship and they wind up being able to to work things out and he gets to see his, his father and his younger brother that he had never seen before. And so today, what I was thinking about was forgiveness is not always easy um, and sometimes it's really hard and sometimes people hurt us in, in horrible, horrible ways, but it's important for us to forgive because it says that we can't be forgiven unless we forgive others. So today I want you to be thinking about, is there somebody in your life that you need to forgive? Or maybe, maybe you need forgiveness. Um, seek it out today. Seek out forgiveness and friendship. Um, in order to be a good friend, we have to be able to forgive. And we have to be able to show one another kindness. And so today, once you are um, done watching the video, our little craft for today is you can make a friendship bracelet. So you're just going to take either some string or Jossie has some stretchy string. And we love to make bracelets and put some beads and stuff on it. Or if you don't have that kind of material, you can really make one out of uh, construction paper. So you would just cut a strip off of the construction paper and then you could decorate it with um, glitter. Or you, if you don't have glitter, you can even just use markers and make yourself a little uh, friendship bracelet for you and a friend. And remember that forgiveness is very important. In order to be forgiven, we must forgive and in order to be a good friend, we have to forgive. And we all know that in our own lives, we have to ask God for forgiveness when we make mistakes. So it's very important that not only we accept forgiveness, but that we give forgiveness as well. All right, friends, have a great week. I uh, love you guys. Hope to see you soon.